Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about structural modeling and stress analysis of taper dissection spur. From toolbox, let's take static structural. Click on geometry, right click on it, take new design modeler geometry. Now take XY plane for sketching. Click on new sketch. Go for sketching. Take polyline. Keep the units in millimeter. Draw the sketch as shown in the video or draw I section sketch. Go to constraint, take the horizontal, click on the horizontal line which is slightly slant and take the vertical line to make the slant vertical lines straight. Go for symmetry, click on y axis, constrain all the points and lines. So that you can get the uniform length on both the planes. Now take the symmetry in X axis. Constrain all the points and lines. After completing it, go for dimension. Take the horizontal H1 dimension as 500 millimeters. V2 dimension as 100 millimeter. V4 dimension as 400 millimeter and H3 dimension as 200 millimeter. Now you have got the complete I section. After completing it, click on generate. Now go for modeling. Take new plane and transform the new plane in offset Z axis. Keep the distance as 1000 mm far from the original plane. Click on generate. Now you have to sketch the new sketch in new plane. Click on new sketch. Go for sketching. Take polyline and draw the I section sketch. Now go for constraints. Make the lines as horizontal and vertical properly. Now take the symmetry, take the symmetry in Y axis, constrain all the points and lines in the Y axis and then move towards symmetry in X axis.
if you have missed any part you can click on control z for undo or you can see the undo option in toolbox Now go for dimension, take the dimension of all section, take the H1 as 250 mm, H3 as 100 mm, V2 as 50 mm and V4 as 200 mm. Now you have got the complete eye section with proper dimensions now go for modeling you have to skin it click on skin there click on both the sketch and apply you can see the connecting line between one sketch and another sketch right click on it and click on fix grid line double click on it and the line is selected after then click on generate you can see the extruded eye section part then move towards model go to mesh click on update To get the smaller grid lines, keep the resolution as 7 and click on update. Now go to static structural, click on fix support, click the big i section face as fix support and keep the load force on the top section click on apply you have to take it in components as we have to act the force in y direction so take the y direction component as minus thousand newtons now come to solutions Click on total deformation, equivalent stress, equivalent strain. Once you complete it, click on solve. You can see the equivalent stress of your I section spar to see this in stimulation click on 100 frames click on play you can do the same in total deformation Thank you.